okay now i will show you tool uh, day after tomorrow once uh, proxy and ids api will complete theoretically uh, then i will show firewall uh, practical demo tool that is portgate so then we can start our second thing proxy in network security second topic is a proxy so proxy also called as a web gateway also called as application gateway so proxy another name is web gateway or application gateway okay so what exactly proxy will do so proxy will act as a in between user and applications it's like a mediator otherwise also called as a gate or bridge so proxy will act as a gate gateway or bridge between the user and the application so that is called proxy server so here in the proxy side once again uh, detection methods are signature based and as well as anomaly based as well first of all why we have to use the proxy server what is the advantage of the proxy server anyone can try what is the advantage of proxy server if firewall won't detect it hmm. uh, then proxy will come into the act yeah, yeah that is one the improved the uh, network speed mm -hmm. increase the network bandwidth speed that's perfect and uh, improved uh, the concept of defense in defense attacker, in attacker will not know the inside uh, inside uh, ip address in within the employee internal employee okay first one is to control internet usage of employees because improved every security. application yeah first we can go and we can define what is the proxy and later we yeah. can go and we can see what are the advantages we have so proxy proxy will act as a gateway or bridge between user and applications so one more thing we can define second definition it will hide our internal network to external attackers so another definition or another feature we can say it will hide our internal network nothing but internal users internal network to external attackers so what is mean by this one example user is a trying to access n of the application user lan ip address is 10.10.10.1 he is a trying to access maybe one of the icar website eacr.org so in that scenario first user request will go to proxy and proxy request will verify whether it is block listed or white listed then that request will forward to the respective destination website name or application name okay so one second guys one second okay sorry guys yeah it will hide our internal network to external attackers so meaning here because proxy is acting as a bridge right so even external attacker is trying to target one of the internal server or internal user so proxy ip address only attacker can see he cannot see what is our internal lan ip address or user lan ip address or server lan ip address that is mean by this one it will hide our internal network to external attackers so coming back here what are the advantages we have because of the proxy server so proxy server advantages we have so bandwidth savings and improved speeds bandwidth savings and improved speed so what is mean by this one so example every website you are allowing in the organization level so whenever employee is getting a laser time or free time they will go and they will try to download or they will try to even watch movies this will happen practically so 
couple of people they will open the youtube and they will watch videos and they will listen these songs and so on a yeah, couple of companies they are accepting this one example google or facebook or some other companies they are trying to give the entire access related to social networking websites as well in that scenario every employee whenever they are getting the laser time so obviously some some of the people what they are doing so they are trying to uh, work simultaneous they will listen the songs as well including in my company also couple of people used to do, do that one in that scenario so what our land speed we have maybe 10 gig or 20 gig or 30 gig it will reduce the speed right because you are watching if something you are watching youtube it will consume lot of bandwidth utilization so but if you are blocking that one via proxy in that scenario we can save our bandwidth as well as even it will improve the speed of the application so that is the first thing so second thing is to control internet usage of employees yeah employees to control internet uses of employees meaning same thing whatever just now explain so same thing okay so that is to control internet use of employees that is the second advantage meaning here everything okay so what are business requirement we have according to that one either we have to allow or either we have to block nothing but block listing and white listing if are doing that particular thing so we can control our internet uses of employees so privacy benefits so privacy benefits meaning here so as i said our internal ip address will be hide by the external attacker so nothing but proxy will hide our internal network so indirectly attacker doesn't know what is the ip address and what is the username and where it is located and so on so this is called privacy benefits confidentiality of the user or confidentiality of the server and so on so that is one thing second one as uh, i think gafur said that's correct improved security nothing but defense in controls so improved security defense in depth controls you firewall is bypassing in that scenario so proxy will come into picture so like websites blocking side so that is also will do so i find sir one question so privacy benefits which means like a, a cognitive mode right uh, which we hide and uh, we do that so yeah that mode. Mm, that is also that is one thing not only that one so as i said second definition you can see here it will hide our internal network example your ip address of the laptop is 10.10.10.1 so that is one thing so second thing is what is the username example maybe so x dot x dot x dot not x dot x dot some username x username whenever attacker is trying to target this one either phishing email or uh, cyber kill chain process or a driver downloads using different types of tactics first the request will come to proxy proxy cannot forward that request indirectly so attacker or end user can benefit the privacy benefits right so what is the username and what is the host name and computer name ip address of the machine and so on so that so is so what thing. is the difference between cognitive mode and proxy so i think both are like a similar light so when you say that so hide yes, our yes. internet proxy or external attackers like that yeah cognitive mode also correct but in case if you are using proxy in our organization level even though it is in a cognitive mode every request will go via proxy only fine fine sir understood well, right you. yeah got it thank you sir yeah. welcome so these are all the couple of advantages on the proxy server okay so example not only that one get access to blocked resources so example it's a genuine website is uh, trying to access by different teams that may be our developers or application development team or hr team or any other team so maybe github.com they are trying to access in that scenario our proxy is suspecting that one as a malicious website because it will follow signatures sometimes even behavioral based as well so but that is a genuine website 
because developer has to access the github.com to develop the code or if they want to customize something for the existing code. So that time they will use GitHub, right? Example, maybe proxy is uh, blocking that particular website. Now, application development team or product development team, they will give complaint to proxy team or firewall team. And then they will say, this is a genuine website, a legitimate website. Okay, we are trying to access this website. And finally, it is a blocking. Okay, so in that scenario, they have to provide business justification. So why they need this particular website and we can exclude that particular website after verifying the reputation of the website. So even excluding that one, that is meaning by this one, get access to blocked resources. Sometimes whenever legitimate website is blocking by the proxy. So after checking the reputation manually, we have to allow the respective websites. So that is mean by this one, get access to blocked resources. Okay. So these are all the advantages coming to here licensing option. So how we can purchase the proxy server? What are the different types of parameters we have to validate? So first thing is we have to know about what is the LAN bandwidth, LAN bandwidth or speed similar to like a firewall. Second one is how many number of end users are there? So that is one thing. Third one is we have how many number of applications we have in the organization level because all the applications we want to trying to access internal as well as external. VPN. VPN is not applicable here. VPN will not be provided by proxy. Proxy will not support any VPN. Only firewall will support VPN. Okay. So how many number of maximum sessions? Okay. Yeah. Maximum sessions. First of all, how many number of maximum sessions accessing by the end users for different types of applications, not only single application. And next one is how many number of concurrent sessions, otherwise applications. So according to this particular features, we can go and we can purchase our proxy server. VPN is not applicable. So proxy will not support VPN, only firewall will support VPN. That too additional cost is involved. Okay. So this is, these are the licensing option. What about ADR2 licensing option or DLP licensing option? How can we purchase EDR license? Number of end users. Number of end users. Yes, correct. Number of end users. All these are implementation and design level, but you should be aware of this one as well. So next one is, uh, what is the deployment method? How we can deploy proxy server? So this is called inline method. This is also called it as promiscuous mode. So inline method or promiscuous mode. So what is mean by inline method or promiscuous mode? In between two devices, if are deploying device, that is called inline method. That is alternative is promiscuous method. So what about EDR tool deployment method? Agent EDR tool. And server. Agent, Agent and server. server approach. What about firewall? Hmm. Firewall. Agent. Firewall. Layer 3 mode. Layer 3 mode also called as? Yes, correct. Yes, there are total three or four deployment methods we have. Right. Switch mode as well. Correct. So deployment method is also called implementation, guys. Don't confuse. That's why whenever any topic will come, I will differentiate with other tools as well so that you can remember easily. So understood, right? Firewall deployment method or firewall implementation method is layer three mode or root mode, also called NAT mode. 
So second mode is a switch mode or layer two mode. Third mode is virtual type, virtual wire or transparent. Fourth one is high availability mode. Fifth one is pan or mirror method. Did you discuss pan or mirror method? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah. Forgot to say that one. Even one more method is there. So that method is pan or mirror method. Give me one second. I will update here. I forgot. Yeah. So last one is pan or mirror method. So pan or mirror method. Why we will use this method? So this method is for POC, proof of concept. POC, not point of contact. So there are two abbreviations or terminology or acronyms we have. So even firewall can deploy as a POC, but it is not useful. It is only for testing purpose. So I already told you this one whenever we discussed about or how to get the projects like a sales team, pre-sales team, design team, implementation team, finally operational support team. So pre-sales team, they will go and they will do POC proof of concept. I think testing of the devices in the customer environment. I also give a practical example as well. So whenever you are purchasing any clothes, you will go to trial room and you will see whether it is a fitting to your body or not. Same thing is applicable to this one also. Whenever any device you are purchasing, so in that scenario, we have to go and we have to test that particular tool or device in our testing environment, whether it is matching to our requirement or not, whether dashboards and reports, whatever we are looking, it's applicable or not. So everything we have to validate. So spanner mirror method, it will be IDS as well, network IDS. So span or mirror method, normally who will configure? This one will be configured by network engineers. Network engineers. So actually topic is diverted, but I want to explain this is one of the important method. That's why. So network engineers, normally they will configure this span or mirror method. Which device will maintain the entire traffic of the organization? Which Firewall. device will? Firewall. Firewall, it's fine. Firewall. Yeah, firewall will monitor, but which device it will maintain the entire traffic? Router. Router also? Switch. switch. Which switch? switch? There are three different switches. Core switch. Yes. Core switch or router will maintain the entire traffic of the organization. Access switch, distributor switch, and core switch we discussed. So, here, normally, what is mean by this particular span or mirror method? It's a copying of the traffic. So what is mean by that one? Example, you can see Cisco 6500. So I will go to images. And you can see this is one of the switch. So this switch will maintain the, per suppose, entire traffic of the ordination. You can see here so many interfaces are there. So for all these interfaces, one of the interface will configure to firewall. One of the interface will configure to IDS IPS. One of the interface will configure to proxy. One of the interface will configure to access switch. One of the interface will configure to ISP router and so on. Nothing but connection, physical cable connections. So whatever traffic is going on, enter this switch. So one of the interface you can see example, maybe interface number two. This interface we will have to configure as a span or mirror interface. Okay. So meaning here, couple of steps we have to go and we have to uh, command line interface in the switch level. So normally switch configuration, we will use a command line interface. We have to go and we have to uh, introduce couple of commands or we have to configure a couple of commands. So the, who will configure that one? That one will be configured by our network engineers. Nothing but routing and switching team. Example in this scenario. So interface number two, you are configuring as a, okay, so span or mirror interface, meaning here, whatever other interfaces traffic it is going on, replication of the traffic will go via interface two. So that's called span or mirror interface, mirroring. Nothing but similar type of the traffic. How we can see image in our mirror level, same way, whatever it is traffic, other interfaces traffic, so entire traffic will go via one of the interface. 
So that interface in this scenario. So interface number two, that interface we have to give to the firewall connection. So then we have to test our firewall. Understood or not? Any doubt? Replication of the traffic or copying of the traffic, it's a passive mode. It is not active mode. It is not like live traffic. It is going on. So one of the interface, we are copying the data. That copying of the data cable connection, after configuring this example, this two interface two, this interface two, we have to give to firewall. So then we have to test that firewall is working correctly or not, what our traffic is going on. So that's called POC, proof of concept. Even IDS, IPS also, IDS especially, we'll use spanner mirror method only. So there I will explain more into what is spanner mirror method. Now you can remember. So spanner mirror method, it will be used for the testing of the device. It's only for monitoring, but it will not block. Okay. So mainly for proof of concept purpose, we will use this one. Okay. So that's called spanner mirror method. Okay. Who will configure the spanner mirror method? So this one will be configured by our network engineers. So whoever is doing who is taking care of the routers and switches. If you want, I will show that one also. Spanner, mirror, interface configuration. Cisco. Couple of comments they have to execute. So they will execute these comments. So one of the interface they will commit. So nothing but copying of the traffic, it will go. Okay. So that is, that is the way how normally they will execute these comments. It is not our job. Okay. This one will be done by, so respect to network engineers. Sir, sorry to interrupt you. Yes, please. I actually, uh, Switch is a device, uh, for example, under OSA layer, second, uh, I mean, data link layer, switch is a device uh, for uh, it will support a frame, frame data type, right, sir, format. Mm -hmm. So, and router, it is example for layer three network, uh, it supports IP packets, right, sir? Correct. So, here, uh, how the packet, uh, how it will, uh, the core switch, how the data it uh, net flow data how it monitors sir so basically arp protocol it will use it will convert layer 3 ip address to layer 2 ip address normally traffic will be okay. flow in the form of only ip packets you are right so layer 3 okay. switch is also called it as a router layer 3 switch is also called it as a router router so okay. you can see in case traffic whatever it is going on so one of the okay. destination interface you, you can see here there are uh, so many ports are there. This is one of the port, this increased traffic, this aggress traffic. Okay, so this entire traffic, whatever it is going on. So one of the interface we have to configure as a span port. This span okay. port, we have to give it to the firewall level. Now firewall okay. in these three, in these two ports, whatever traffic is going on, same traffic, it will go to our firewall also. And firewall, we can test it. So whether that, so what our requirement we have, what type of reports we have to see in the firewall level. So like a proof of concept, proof of concept meaning here before purchasing any device in our on-premise or data center level or even cloud level also, we'll go and we'll verify. So whether it is matching to our business requirement or not. Okay. So coming back to your question, even though if it is using a frames in between frames and also it will router these exchanges will ha happen based on the voice layer approach. That's why voice layer is very important. Okay. Yeah. Coming back to here. So this once again, I will explain under the IDS. So that is our next topic, a network IDS, network IPS. So coming back to here on the proxy level, deployment method is inline method in between now. Now you can say where we have to deploy inline method. So I said in between two devices where proxy can be deployed in the organization level in between firewall and uh, NIDS and IPS. Excellent. In between firewall and NIDS and IPS. That's why I said always you have to